Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are. It's beautiful world whenever you're watching this YouTube video. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Didi, born to be free. If you want to have this t shirt, go to the website, the Bitcoin Family, and you can buy them all of them in the shop. Many of them, even hoodies and swimsuits, whatever you want. Um, guys, a short video today here in this beautiful park in Phuket about, of course, the banks, <laughs> Bitcoin again. Uh, it makes me smile every day when I read all that news about the banks. Uh, so I'm gonna talk a little, bit, a little bit about that, but also about the solution that I see slowly developing now um, that will empower the people and the trail. The banks, as to be, of course, crashed. We know that many other banks were crashing as well. Now, yesterday, the news came out about Credit Suisse, uh, one of the bigger banks in Switzerland, also having shitload of problems. Their stocks dropped with 25% because there was announced they were not going to be helped. Now, by now already, I read the news that another Swiss bank um, is gonna help them out if they really come into problems. But you can see and feel all the banks cracking already. And it's not only Credit Suisse, it's also BNP Paribas, it's also the Commerce Bank, it's also Society Generale. All of these bank stocks drop with 8% or more. So these banks are having a shitload of problems. Uh, and all these problems only are there because of fractional reserve banking. And I just want to uh, educate you about a little bit about that fractional reserve banking because I think a lot of you guys out there um, hear me talking a lot about that fractional reserve banking, but they're all like, what the fuck does it mean? What is fractional reserve banking? Now, that's the biggest problem all those banks have, and they created those problems themselves. And why? Because of that fractional reserve banking. I've said that now like six times in the last one minute. Sorry, um, not structured at all, but it means that, for example, I have 100K. I put 100K in my bank account. Fractional reserve banking allows that bank to only hold 10K in the bank account and give 90K as a loan to someone else, to you. Now you have then that 90K. With that 90k, you go to your bank and put the 90k on that bank account. And then that bank again has the right to only hear, to only hold 10% of that and give the rest to another person. So 81k is then again being transferred to another person that again goes to another bank and puts that money on that bank and there, there again. So from 100k uh, by now already 270k is created. And that goes on and on and on till 100k turns into 1 million that's being backed by 900k in debts. That is fractional reserve banking. And the thing that I completely forgot to tell you is now I'm calculating with 10%, you know, 10% that the banks need to hold. But since that uh, whole fake flu show, <laughs> that 10% turned into 0%. So now if you deposit 100k, they can loan that 100k fully to another person that puts that 100k again on another bank that bank again loans that 100k to another person and that person again uses that 100k to put it on another bank so there is now zero percent fractional reserve banking so which makes the situation even worse guys so and i just don't understand that most people don't understand that that is leading always to a disaster how can that be successful Sorry if there is too much wind. I'm trying to walk into the wind so the noise is not uh, too disturbing. Uh, but I want to make my walk and talks outside. I don't want to do them uh, behind the laptop. So that's the best thing to create a shitload of disaster all over the world because there will be a stop at the end. It's like multi-level marketing. You know, only the first that jump into multi-level marketing train, the cascade marketing, will win. The last will lose. At the end, there will be a shitload of debts and we can't cover those debts. So we need to print even more money to lend even more to people, to create even more fractional banking, to not be able to save it anymore and create so much inflation that the life of the people at the end of the line are becoming so expensive, they won't be able to pay for their beautiful lifestyle anymore that they were able to do before with the same amount of money. Inflation, okay? Now, that is fractional reserve banking. I hope that is a little bit clear now. Um, it was in my best Dutch English, so <laughs> some might think uh, it's still not clear. Then go Google it and use Google as an educator um, uh, that will educate you on what fractional reserve banking exactly is. Of course, the image that I put in there should make it very clear as well. Now, of course, there is a solution. And of course, you understand what my solution is. Yes, 
Bitcoin. But then people will directly say, Didi, Bitcoin is a solution, but its adoption is not high. It's too difficult for people to use. How people should interact with each other is impossible at the moment. You know, people need to download wallets and private keys and send and the, the educational growth path in this Bitcoin industry is still a little bit difficult. So yes, it is still a little bit difficult for people to completely understand um, how to use Bitcoin and if it's safe and all those questions. It's a shitload of questions. It's the same shitload of questions that people had in the beginning of the internet. Yes, there were a lot of questions and they were all solved and now by now everyone is using the internet. Now, what is in my opinion the solution for Bitcoin? I think the solution will be found in the combination social media and Bitcoin guys. And that is what we are seeing. Now the problem that we had till now, sorry for that wind, I'm gonna look if I can find a place with a little bit less wind guys. Give me a second, maybe I can stand behind a huge tree over here without being attacked by some kind of strange animals. There are huge varanas over here, and they can bite you. So here maybe it's less behind this tree, yeah. So the solution for me is social media combination with Bitcoin. And why social media combination with Bitcoin? Because then we don't need banks or difficult apps or Bitcoin apps or you know all of the things that you don't understand yet to transact because then we can use social media to transact and people might say yeah but social media is centralized yes I agree most social media is centralized most social media like for example Facebook or Twitter or any of those other ones Instagram they're all centralized so they won't allow it because then they would need a banking license and all that stuff which is very difficult for them to obtain but there is a new social media called Noster, which is completely decentralized, working exactly the same as Bitcoin, but now for social media. And I think that one is very important to understand that that one is growing really fast. And Noster allows you to send a few sets from your Noster account to another Noster account without any fees. So that means the combination of Bitcoin and decentralized social media that is unstoppable because it's working the same as a blockchain but now in social media will open the gates for everyone to use Bitcoin in a way that it's unstoppable. So now you can open a Noster account, you can top, up, top it up with some Satoshis and you can start to send those Satoshis to other people or maybe even if stores or any other business has a Noster account to those. And that will set us free from the centralized oppression that now is in full control of the government and the banks. Because we can decentralize social media because of blockchain. We already have decentralized currencies, Bitcoin, the combination of that will decentralize the whole monetary system. But we just need to start using it. The moment we understand and see the power of that beautiful combination of decentralized social media and decentralized money, that is the moment we will all take the power back to the people and the wind again. Sorry for that, guys. But that is the moment we will take control. That is the moment we will take over the monetary system and create one that is looking like the one that was there when the fiat system was still backed by gold. Because at that moment, we didn't have issues because there was a fixed supply. Now there is a unlimited supply you can see the videos all over it that the fed says no no we can just digitally print money and we can just add more money to the bank account so that they can save again the rich people and let the poor die out of hunger because of the inflation now that is exactly what bitcoin is fighting against that was what bitcoin was developed in 2008 2009 and that is why it started at that moment that it was a huge bailout of the banks so bitcoin has the fixed supply of 21 million that it is dividable in satoshis that can each can have a huge value which makes it possible for all the money worldwide all the capital to flow into one beautiful system monetary system bitcoin that is usable and accessible for everyone everywhere in the world now in africa there is some new thing cr created it's called machukura and machukura is a software that makes it possible for african people at the moment to transact bitcoin by using very simple uh, no smartphones very simple telephones and text messages so they don't need connection to the internet they have these old telephones you know the Nokia 33 the Nokia 3310 or something like that and they are able with a text message to send satoshis to another person to pay a bill to interact with other people all over the world 
So that's Machu Cura. I will do another video about that because I need to read into it more and more. I just read that it is possible by now. I want to dive into it to understand really the technology. But this guy is making a lot of things possible now for people in Africa that don't have access to the internet. So all these combinations of social media, because WhatsApp is also social media, uh, not decentralized, but it is a social media. Text messages is also a form of social media. But all these combinations of social media and Bitcoin are, in my opinion, the solution for that fractional reserve banking system that we are now using that is destroying your capital, the capital of everyone else, and slowly destroying by that the freedom and the complete world as we know it. So for me, Bitcoin is a solution combo with social media. Thanks for watching. I hope uh, the wind was not too bad. Uh, I only will find it out when I'm editing the video. But if the wind was too bad, I hope you still enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. What do you think about the solution, Bitcoin and social media? What do you think about the banks having a shitload of more problems at the moment? Thank you for watching. Uh, see you tomorrow. Bam!